friends. Welcome back to Movie Community College. I'm Tish the Warrior Queen. I'm the Village Idiot. With Jeremy the Professor. What's up, everybody? How are you? So yeah. glad to see you. Uh, Tanya Vod for watching. Tanya Vod for subscribing. And um, we have a video here. It yes, is. It's do. been a while since we've done a Carolina Go Swami video. That's true. Um, she still looks like she's 12. She to does. Me. She We're looks so. so young. We're so, so struck old. by that. Every so time we old. look at her, we're it's like, oh my gosh, she, she looks, looks so, so young. She's got kids. Does she really? Yeah, she's got kids. Well, I mean, we were young when our son was born. I was only 24 when he was born, so. So let's take a look at this. Okay. India versus China in space. That'll be good. India is showing no signs of slowing down. A few days ago, it was Mission Shakti. And now it is the launch of an advanced electronic intelligence satellite, EMISAT. The satellite is capable of monitoring an emulator, sensors and communication devices. Apart from EMISAT, ISRO's PSLV C45 has launched 28 foreign satellites, including those from Spain, Switzerland, Lithuania and the USA. For the first time, payloads were released in three orbits. Should China be concerned about India's phenomenal rise in space? In 2014, after the success of India's Mars Orbiter mission, the Chinese had publicly admired and hailed India's efforts by calling the mission the Pride of Asia. Both countries have their own ambitious plans for space, and many experts believe that it does not make too much sense to compare the space agencies of the two nations. ISRO was formed in 1969, and since then it has come a long way. Through the successful launch of the record 104 satellites by its PSLV, and through the success of its missions like Mangalyan and Chandrayaan-1, it has won global admirers. Its commercial arm, Antrix Corporation Limited, has successfully promoted ISRO's products and services. India has a total of 13 military satellites, and many advanced nations use ISRO's services to launch their satellites. India is on its way to send humans into space, and its upcoming missions like Chandrayaan-2 and the solar mission Aditya are considered very significant. On the other hand, CNSA was established in 1993. China has already sent humans into space, and it has already landed a payload on the moon. It has successfully executed docking technology. It has a bigger capacity to launch satellites, and it has a larger number of launch sites. It is also believed to have a lot more military satellites than India. For its CGWIC, China wants a major chunk of the international communication satellite market. Both countries are keen to develop a reusable launch system, and both cooperate with the other major space powers. It should be pointed out that India is an equal partner in the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar project. Yes, there may be some similarities between the space agencies of the two nations, but it is very clear that India and China have differing objectives and differing budgets. Due to the differences in their objectives, the two nations are developing differing capabilities. Missions like artificial moons, space station, and putting an asteroid into the lunar orbit indicate that China is keener to showcase its muscle in space globally. On the other hand, ISRO's priority is to serve the people of India. Its official motto is Space technology in the service of humankind. See you again. So what did you think of that? That was a delightful little video, didn't you think? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I think that this uh, goes right into Kings of the East mm -hmm. and how um, there was just a comment that came through. A few hours ago, somebody j has just heard Kings of the East for the first time and would like me to explain it in a video. And I oh, think, I think so we you mean have that a... must be somebody who's new to the channel. Yes, yeah. So when I tell you, you have to introduce yourself because oh, there are new people. Woman, woman. That explains that. Mm -hmm. Woman. Yes, so I did enjoy that video. Um, I always enjoy Carolina's videos yes, where yes. she's kind of breaking down the difference yes. between um, something in India versus something in another country. Yeah. Um, so yeah, informative. I liked it. I'm in favor of, um, India's space technology and what they're doing. So I say more power to India. I agree. I agree. More. And I'm glad that we have a joint venture with them. Yes. So am I. NASA so and ISRO. Yes. We pick the winners, not the losers. Nice. And if I were Pakistan, I would be worried. 
Um, India could shut off communications at any well, time. They, they could sh- shut off every cell phone. They should be Pakistan. worried, but I just don't think they have sense enough to be. So. Well, uh, Tanyavad for watching, and uh, Fear Malingi, we will see you again. Hi, you're watching the Movie Community College channel on YouTube. Be sure to like it and subscribe, and to check out my music, go to juddyray.com. Thanks.